Published 14 2 October 2017 Updated 14 2 October 2017 Tom Pyman Many fear the county could become gridlocked almost permanently if a bad deal is struck when leaving the EU upgrading CAN's border controls must be a priority for the government after leaving the EU, David Davis has been told. The leaders of Southeast England Council SEEK and the Southeast Strategic Partnership for Migration SESPM wrote a joint letter to the Brexit Secretary this week as fears grow of increased congestion at the ports after March 2019. A recent report by consultancy firm Xera warned Kant could become gridlocked by an almost permanent instigation of Operation Stack if a Brexit deal sees greater regulation and enforcement measures at the port of Dover, impacting the UK economy by £1 billion. Dover MP Charlie Alfaghi has also repeatedly said the 14-hour queues experienced in his constituency last summer would be a tea party compared to what will happen if Britain is not fully prepared for leaving the EU. The letter to Mr Davis says as UK negotiators work towards achieving the UK's exit from the EU, local authorities across the southeast want to urge you to prioritize upgrading of border controls for passengers and freight in advance of Brexit. Dover and Shepway councils have particular concerns about the future of borders as they are the UK gateways for the Channel Tunnel in Port of Dover which is the closest port to the European mainland. The letter calls for juxtaposed border controls at Dover and Calais to remain in place, and the government is asked to pursue agreement on the future inspections required for food imported from the EU as a matter of urgency. Mr. Elfiki said it is great to see councils across the southeast working together in this way. It is in the national interest to ensure we are ready on day for every eventuality of leaving the European Union. Nowhere will preparations be more vital than at the Dover front line, 